Welcome to Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2 Lobby and Harrow Menu Guide. This game has peer-to-peer -peer servers and not dedicated ones except for main lobby area where you can view other players. This is the clan terminal where you can change emblem of clan, add kick players, view list of players and how many missions clan mates have completed. If we open up Harrow Menu you can see the requirements for clan missions and how many you've completed. These reset weekly on the day of mobile suit banner change. Can also change status message here as well, for if you want members to know you on holiday or whatever. If not the leader you can submit a emblem change to be reviewed by the leader. To enter a clan you'll need to speak with the bartender here. Can search by tag or special criteria to meet your player specifics. Like searching for day or night time players, probably searching for a certain rank of players and etc. Can confirm leader of clan profile in middle and the clan profile above. If players had sent clan invites to you they'll be located on bottom. If in a clan and players request invite they'll be on bottom within terminal. PC and console will not be cross-playing or sharing as of this recording. From the bar you'll find the reward gift NPC where you'll find your tokens, DP and other free gifts and rewards. Many items don't expire or on a timer. We just had a Red Comet event that gave a bunch of free stuff. If you happen to already own a item or suit you'll be compensated with recycle tickets and a bonus to suits that'll increase its enhancement value, which we'll go over in a bit. Earning various rewards can clear many various monthly missions. Obtain enough monthly missions and you'll be rewarded with monthly medals that'll grant additional rewards after completing a sortie run. Next to him is Mission Control, he'll prompt you when you gain enough experience to be promoted to next rank. Entering Harrow menu you can see your total amount of currency, tickets and kits. You can also view which medal you currently have, the benefits and how long it'll last for. They expire every month. Obtaining Platinum, the highest right now, will unlock additional daily login rewards which you can see listed when logging in or visiting their website. For a medal to activate you either have to win which grants the bonuses to all allies or if you lose only you will receive the extra bonuses. For other quests like promotion, daily and limited or special missions will be listed next to monthly tab. This terminal displays info that shows up when you first log in that day in case you missed something new will occasionally be used for promoting new titles or crossovers but rarely. At the supply depot or counter you can purchase parts, suits, items and more with either DP or recycle tickets. 
can also gamble with the premium tokens for brand new suits and weapons not found in any other option. Special supply drops are usually bait with terrible drop rates. Boosted is another one unless it's a step up where you are guaranteed to win the main weekly suit with additional bonuses. Compared to default weekly banner you can dump as many as possible and still not win the suit. Step ups usually requires 195 tokens so try very hard to save for these special banners. We tend to see one towards the end of each month and double during anniversary, which is in a few months. Limited supply has slightly higher rates for whatever suit and weapon are listed but many see it as a bait banner. Going for step ups your chances of obtaining many of the previous suits are decent. Chances don't change for single spins or 10 spins. Many of the banners will be worded in a way to trick you as well, just focus on free ones, weekly main ones and step ups. You can complete your collect with the use of DP and occasionally find non-DP stuff in recycle shop which changes daily. The higher monthly metal you have the more items will be listed in this shop. So coming to the simulator, the stairs NPC can change your appearance with in-game purchase. Battle simulator is the closest you'll get to single player action. You can face strong mega bosses and other short missions for fabulous rewards if can complete under short amount of time. Can even participate against other players for the fastest completion time in world ranking. Which resets and becomes more difficult on banner reset weekly. Simulator rewards reset when new sims are updated, which happens about twice a year. To upgrade and enhance your mobile suit come seek out the hangar. The higher monthly medal you have the more slots will be available to you, and the earliest you obtain platinum they'll give you more slots throughout the month. Yes, slots resets with monthly medal resetting. You can speed up time with hangar tickets. Piloting a suit enough times will grant faster enhancing values to speed up upgrades to your favorite one. Each suit has their own special upgrades, which many are generic until you go up in cost and rarity. A max can stop up to a locked value and can be further enhanced by using the modified feature. To mod an enhancement you'll need DP and hangar kits not tickets to get those unlocks. Yes, the multiple currencies in game are convoluted and can get confusing at first. Just now starting? You can learn a few basic things from the training instructor, Tenda Begin. Here you can earn some DP, tokens, and suits. Which I highly recommend doing right away.
The advanced stuff is just killing two targets and keeping alive till timer expires. It's a good way to become more proficient with killing the disadvantaged target type to help you notice the difference when real gameplay begins. So now ready to play the actual game? Jump over the sortie counter with Carrie Cadbury and she'll launch you into action. Event displays special rank matches which is solo play in free for all battles for the top in your group and the world. Clan match for clan vs clan action which are held weekly at different times and date with different criteria. You can earn rare mobile suits, camos and more in events. Practice you can learn the layout of your new suit before seeing real combat with it. I tend to have disable MS destruction on so I don't have to wait on respawn. Custom you can find unique battles, usually player will have some specifications in title. Most players use custom to rapidly earn their daily crates or finish daily quests. You cannot earn a rival win victory in custom mode. Quick match is self-explanatory and rating is climbing ranks. Higher your player ranking is the more EXP and DP you can obtain on end screen. Rating also grants the highest reward after each match so the payout is really better than the other modes. During the weekend quick mode will have an additional slot with settings that are usually only found in custom. This is an example of those mentioned quick customs called AB rooms. Where team A does the assaulting and B just takes a break. Usually random but can end super quick making it ideal for players that don't have the time before next daily reset. Opening up Harrow menu is where you'll spend most of your time in from customizing suit with parts or painting to checking your growth data. You can save up to 3 layout defaults with their own weapon shortcuts. A few main weapons can be changed on equipment set where it'll be the first two icon options if suit has any additional you can change, but not add to. Many suits will share the same primary weapon like basic beam saber or rifle. Some will have multiple options available to it changing its role on the battlefield. 
Like Bazooka option will turn it into a tough frontline melee type while a charge beam will force it to play more conservative and or behind a frontline bazooka type to synergy with ally better. Suits with different melee options don't have much diversity change like firing weapons do. Just changes the reach or arc of swings. Dryson is the exception since it changes from basic melee swings to instant knock with longer reaches. So really quick executioner or generic slower melee play. Also Dryson's beam rifle is the worst option to give it so you'll mostly be a solid frontliner with bazooka and pole. If unsure how to customize part on suit you can select the auto customize and choose a preference. You get 3 slots so 2 should be saved for a space and ground combat. Space tends to require more boost and turning performance than ground does.
Some other options in Haro menu include completions in mobile suits, parts, ECT. Can customize simple chat messages and controls to fit your playstyle. which I just change boost and jump on console. Can in game chat but hardly anyone uses this feature on console. There are emotes you can earn from various events. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe and like button. Leave behind comment for what you'll like to see. GBO2 is entering their 5 year anniversary hitting in July be sure to have saved your tokens to have a jump on better banners of the year.